Hi everyone, Jasmine here from How to Electronics. In this video, I will show you how you can make your own robotic car that can be controlled via Wi-Fi communication. We will use ESP8266 chip and make a dedicated Android app to control the robot. Here is a simple demo of this project. So let's build our Wi-Fi control robotic car. This video is sponsored by my favorite PCB manufacturer company called Next PCB. They offer PCB board and PCB assembly services at the lowest affordable price. You can get trial PCB, 2 layer PCB and 4 layer PCB with free PCB assembly shipping services up to a fast lead time of 24 hours. There is a good news. That is Next PCB has acquired Kiki PCB. You can use a Kiki PCB account to log into Next PCB and directly place an order. For the order placed in Kiki PCB, Next PCB will arrange a dedicated salesperson for you to follow up and communicate with you. For the current orders you place with Kiki PCB, Next PCB will take all over them. There is another great news. You can get up to 30% off for the PCB offer and up to 20% off for the PCBA offer. You can check the activity rules to learn more about this. Welcome back again. Let's see the circuit diagram and connection first. I use freezing software to design this schematic. We will control the two DC motors via L298 motor driver IC. You can use 200 RPM or 300 RPM DC motor for this application. The main control unit is Wemos D1 board which connects and controls the entire circuit and equipment. And to power the circuit, we will use a 6 volt DC battery or a pair of lithium ion batteries connected in series. Here is the detailed connection. Connect the battery to the L298 motor driver power supply input. Connect all 4 inputs of L298 to ESP8266 D3, D4, D7 and D8 pin. Supply 5 volt to Wemos through L298 5 volt pin. Connect the output pins of L298 to left and right motors. Here is the robotic car assembled with base and chassis. This is L298 board and this one Wemos D1 board. I used a pair of 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries to power the circuit. The batteries are connected in series and hence overall voltage is around 8 volt. I have used the transparent chassis made using glass fiber. You can use metallic or wooden, anything that fulfills your requirement. Tightly screw all the components and mount them on the chassis as shown here. Use good quality and strong wheels so that the robot can move even on rough surfaces. To control the robot, we need an Android app. This is the Android app designed using the MIT App Inventor. Here is the designer layout which gives the info about the screen and how the app looks like. If you look at the internal block part, you can see the instructions as forward, backward, left and right which works as a command to control the robot. I have given the APK file link in the website article. You can download and install it on your Android phone. Let's move to the Arduino IDE and see the coding part. In this code part, change the Wi-Fi SSID and password from these lines. Here, we have defined the pin for robot control. From here, the ESP8266 tries connecting to Wi-Fi network and then it will print the local IP address. In the loop section, we have defined all the commands to move forward, backward, left and right. Here, all the individual commands are defined. On the hardware part, connect the micro USB data cable between the computer and the Wemos D1 mini board. 
On the Arduino IDE, select Tools and from the board part, select Wemos D1 Mini Board. In case if you are using Node MCU board, you can select it. Also, select the COM port. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. After uploading the code, click on the serial monitor. So the serial monitor will display the IP address once it gets connected to the Wi-Fi. Note this IP address as it is required in the code. Here is the Android app installed on the phone. Let's configure it now. Enter the IP address that you copied earlier. So now you are ready to control this robot. Initially, I will test this. Wow, it's working fine. I will now test it on open space. So this is how you can make a Wi-Fi controlled robot, control it via Android app. Thank you so much for watching.